For the most wild yet most homely story you are about to witness, I neither expect nor demand your belief. Mad indeed would I be to expect it, in a case where my very own senses reject their own evidence. Yet mad I am not, and tomorrow I will die for my actions. My immediate purpose is to place before the audience, plainly and without comment, a series of mere household events and their terrible and murderous consequences. What a beautiful life we have here together, Virginia. Oh, honey, you know I wouldn't have it any other way. Those people said marrying your 13-year-old cousin was weird, but look what a beautiful life they would have destroyed. But seriously, how could this moment get any better? It's just you and me and our brand new house. Well, I wouldn't exactly call it alone. What do you mean? Wait here a moment. I have a present for you. Oh, Virginia, you shouldn't have. Ah, oh, it's a cat! Virginia, I told you I hate cats! I know, honey. You've told me before. But I really thought that we would need a pet to break in this new house of ours. Mm, I don't know. Come on, Edgar. Just give it a try. They're not evil. They're actually quite nice. All right, but just this one. I don't want a hundred of them running around. Oh, Edgar, I knew you'd understand. Let me go get the camera. All right, I guess it's just you and me, little bugger. Ah! Ah, you little devil! That little devil just bit me! What happened? Ah, your cat just attacked me. Don't be silly. Why would he attack you? He's such a sweet cat. I don't know why, but he did. You... You were probably trying to hurt him, weren't you? I swear to God, I was just holding him and he just got right up and did it. You brute! Why won't you let me have a cat? Well, I'll be. There you are, you fuzzy varmint! I should have done this a long time ago. Satanic creature! What is going on in here? What was that noise? Ah, uh, yeah, nothing, my dear. What happened to the chair? That, that was my grandmother's! You know I'd never do anything to upset you, my dear. How? Look at this mess! Edgar, could you please stop trying to kill my cat? Honey, I'm sorry. I just don't know what's gotten into me lately. Well, as long as you're sorry, I guess it's okay. Let's let's just go eat dinner now. All right. Virginia! When I entered this marriage, I promised three things. One, you can have my heart. Two, you can have my soul. And three, you can have my axe!
Hello? Yes? Officer Griswold? Yes, I would like to report a missing persons case. Yes? All right, an investigation? I see. I live on 25167 Abner Hollow Road. All right. All right, I'll be waiting. Oh, thank you, Officer Griswold, for coming. All right, where was the last time you saw her? Uh, I saw her about two days ago. She went to go shopping and she didn't come back. Well, all right, Mr. Poe. We're going to have to investigate your house before we can continue any further. All right, officer. That's fine. I have nothing to hide. Well, Mr. Poe, it would appear your house is clean. I shall go back to the office and prepare a search warrant. All right. Well, thank you, Officer Griswold, for searching my premise. I do sure hope we find her. I do, too. Wait a minute. Thank God, I almost forgot my hat. Ah, I must be hearing things. Wait a minute. Hmm. What the? 